This morning, we're talking with food blogger J.C. Phelps, who is the consummate Kentuckian, that's for sure. His website is jcpeats.com. He began blogging about food as well as disordered eating and has been very candid. And then here we are today, J.C., the pandemic started in March. Since then, you've walked hundreds of miles and you've lost over a hundred pounds and you continue to blog and, and invite people to enjoy food. And one of the keys to your health journey success though, has been moderation. Mm, absolutely. I still enjoy all the same foods that I always have, you know, the Southern delicious things like pimento cheese and chicken salad all of that delicious Duke's mayonnaise, you know, we love it. But I found that that's important to incorporate, but it's, you know, more important to, on the regular, have healthy dishes to substitute for the dishes that you used to eat on the regular. And it makes those treats truly treats instead of everyday occurrences. JC, before we get to this dish that you're gonna show us how, how to put together, what has been your biggest motivation or inspiration during this time? Because I think a lot of us, there have been times when you just feel so hopeless and it's hard to rally to do yet another thing, let alone something that's good for yourself. I think, Angie, that it's been bipartite. The first motivation, and, and it really should be the focus of any health and motivation, has been, you know, truly myself. I saw myself going down a path that I wasn't very comfortable with and wanted to make a change. So every day when I wake up and maybe I don't wanna walk or maybe I wanna eat unhealthy, I look back and realize how far I have already progressed and I owe it to myself to keep going. The other great motivator has been uh, my followers on the blog and both on Instagram. So many of them, literally hundreds, have started health journeys with me. They check in daily on my walks and say, JC, you haven't posted, are you walking today? Or um, they'll send me screenshots of their workouts and that means so much to me. So it's not been just a solo effort, it has been a macro effort by my standard. Oh, love hearing that. Okay, what are you going to cook for us this morning? So this morning, I have another Zoodle recipe. So Zoodles or zucchini noodles, which are made with a spiralizer, are a delicious zero to no calorie substitute for pasta. You can see here, it kind of has the texture of angel hair. Um, to cook these, um, a little bit of salt in an oven, 350 degrees for around 20 minutes, and then I broil them for about a minute on high. This ensures that the water gets out and they hold up more like a true noodle. So one of my favorite things in the summer is caprese salad. And I usually like to eat it with a, you know, gorgeous big baguette. And, um, you know, every once in a while that would be fine, but I wanted to make a lower calorie um, substitute. So I have some gorgeous multicolor cherry tomatoes here, purple, yellow, and red on top of the zoodles. And what I'm gonna do is take some um, fresh uh, mozzarella cheese, add that on top. And then I have a light balsamic um, vinaigrette, which is so flavorful. This is a great salad dressing um, substitute as well. If you like a little spice, a little red pepper flake is fabulous on this as well. But I'm gonna go in and add some Mediterranean basil leaves. I find that these are so sweet and paired together perfectly with those, with those tomatoes. And so all you have to do, it's seriously as simple as this. You stir it all together, add a little more cheese if you want, if you're like me and love dairy. I think it needs a tad more, throw some in and it's ready to serve. I was just sitting here with my mouth open going, wait, what? That's it. That's it. And it's all those flavors, but in a way, like you said, that are so much more healthy. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a great thing that you can make. You know, you're doing other things around the house, zucchini noodles in the oven. You just leave them there for 20 minutes and they're done. The rest of the toppings only take minutes. So go ahead and clean your house while you're making this. It's the perfect meal for the multitasker. A quick question for you, JC. So you can use a spiralizer, um, or as I call it, um, the thingy that makes it go like this. <laughs> There's an actual name for that. 
or also at Kroger and some of the other grocery stores and things, you can you can cheat and buy it in the bags already done for you. That's correct. And, you know, I am one of those cooks that believes in doing things, you know, the easiest way if you don't sacrifice quality. If you don't have time to sit there and go with the spiralizer, go to Kroger, it's near the, or Whole Foods, any of the um, grocery stores, near the bag salads, um, you will find um, pre-cut um, zucchini squash, and it will be ready just to put on the pan for you. I love it. And so now my goal is, can I trick my four-year-old into giving up her roni, as she calls it, and maybe, I mean, I'm fine. Add the dairy like you. I mean, she's definitely, she loves the dairy, but can I trick her with the zoodles? Next time you'll come back soon and maybe we can, we can check in about that. I absolutely will. I would love to hear Olive's opinion. And we'd also love to know how you're doing on your health journey as well. And if you're inspired and you want to keep up with JC, because like you said, I mean, literally hundreds of people are now jumping on this journey with him. I'm one of those who's been following him from the beginning of this. Just check out jcpeats.com. You'll find all of his different social media links as well. Go JC, and I know that you will get added inspiration coming right back from him. Again, jcpeats.com.